hi guys and happy Saturday afternoon we are going to make our Christmas meat pie this is the Christmas Eve meat pie um, it is a British pie and um, we're gonna make that today because Christmas Eve is Monday and I have to come home and pick it up and bring it to my mom's so after work which sucks maybe we'll get out early so that'll be okay so I'm gonna show you how to make it and um, I'll show you the ingredients right now my magic wand isn't it beautiful okay what you're gonna need is two tablespoons of butter okay you're going to need two large onions two cloves of garlic minced up you're gonna need a pound of ground beef and a half a pound of ground pork you're gonna need an eight ounce can of tomato sauce um, one and a half teaspoons of salt half a teaspoon dried thyme quarter teaspoon each of ground cloves ground mace and ground nutmeg I always like to ground my own nutmeg very very fun fresh and a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper then you're gonna want to uh, it's already it's in the uh, sink thawing but you want a 10 ounce package of frozen chopped spinach and you're gonna want to thaw it and squeeze out all the moisture and then you're gonna want a cup of these frozen hash brown things let's see if I can get this in the picture anyway. there we go frozen hash browns you get them in the store just like that so uh, one cup of those that's your potato element in the pie so I'm gonna get chopping on the onions chop up the garlic and um, I'll take you over to the stove and we'll get going on this oh you need of course two pie crusts crusts for two for a double pie okay bottom and top so um, uh, you know I just get the pre-baked ones cuz I mean the pre uh, the refrigerated ones they're always great gonna need an egg for egg wash later on top of your crust other than that I think we covered everything and we are having a Trogues blizzard hops look at that this is from our um, world market uh, winter pack very very fun and it is delicious it's a winter IPA blizzard hops from Trogues great brewery all right guys I will be back with you after I chop my onions and my garlic okay guys in our duchy we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter and get that rolling I think it's gonna smell really good while it's uh... okay get our, onion, um, get our butter melty and our onions. That's two tablespoons of butter in the bottom of your duchy or a big pan, whatever you have, you know. Today is um, sunny. It's actually sunny after yesterday's uh, horrible downpours, torrential downpours. But yesterday was so warm. Today it is sunny, but it is freezing. <laughs> it is windy and cold and just crazy. Okay, uh, into your melted butter in your duchy, you're going to put your two large onions. And we're going to cook those for a while. Cook those until they get soft. You know, nice and soft. And I guess, you know, not brown, but translucent. And that's a lot, of, a lot of onions there. Two big onions. Thank you. 
So, uh, the cooking of the onions will be about four to six minutes. Probably more like six if you like them nice and, and soft. Okay, our onions are looking pretty translucent. They look really good. They smell great. What we're going to put in here is our two cloves of chopped minced garlic, let's say. Nice little pieces of garlic, okay? Put those right into your onions. And cook that about a, a minute or so more. Because you do not want to burn your garlic, for sure. Blizzard hops, yummy. This is so good, this blizzard hops. Oh, garlic smells so good. All right, next you're gonna put in your meat and cook that down. Break it up and cook. Um, my store only had ground pork in the, uh, in the meatloaf mix, so I had to get the meatloaf mix, but, um, otherwise what you want is, a pound of ground beef and a half a pound of ground pork. But they had everything else. They had, well, they had tur ground turkey, they had ground chicken, they had ground beef of all kinds of fat contents, and no ground pork, so... I guess uh, I would have had to have the butcher of ground grind it for me, but this is fine. The meatloaf blend is, is fine for this. So we're going to mix that and cook that until it's crumbly. Okay, guys, once it, it uh, looks like this, once everything's crumbly, and nice, what you're gonna do is um, drain off some of your fat, drain off some of the fat, and then we're going to add our tomato sauce. Eight ounce can of tomato sauce goes in. Stir that in nice. <laughs> Stir that in along with one and a half teaspoons of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, a quarter each of uh, ground nutmeg, ground mace, and ground cloves right in, and a half a teaspoon of thyme. Mix this all up nice, blend it well. Now it's going to start smelling amazing because the spices make it. Interesting um, blend of spices too. Um, exotic and savory. Oh, just delicious. Make sure everything is blended really, really well. 
And then, looks so good. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells amazing. Okay. Gonna stir in a um, 10 ounce package of our drained, thawed, drained, and squeezed spinach. Right in, look at that. Oh, yummy. And one cup, I have a little bit more, but uh, basically one cup of frozen hash browns right in. Once these two, once these two are put in, you can remove it from the heat. It doesn't have to stay on the heat. I mean, this, the fire does not have to stay on, but blend it really, really well. Oh, it smells so good. It looks magical. It looks like something that Charles Dickens might have eaten. Very beautiful. Look at that. And I've turned the heat off and I'm just stirring in potatoes and the spinach. I want the spinach to get dispersed really well. Alright, I'm going to keep stirring this up and I'll be back with you in a minute show you what to do next. Okay, here we go. We're going to roll out our crust a little bit because my pie pan is a very deep dish pie pan and uh, so the crust uh, has to be a little bit bigger especially on the bottom so we'll just roll it out a bit and then we'll get it ready to place in the pie pan Press it down gently. So, um, we are supposed to go by my mother's on Christmas Day, um, but we're going by my brother's Christmas Day now. So, Christmas Eve is going to be at my mom's house. So, we'll bring the pie for Christmas Eve. Very fun. We'll have it with lasagna. So we'll have the British and the Italian together. And because my mom is of British descent, my dad is Italian. That looks beautiful. Now we're going to get our filling. Of course, I, I'm using a cast iron duchy, so it's really, really hard for me to um, handle that that pot very easily. So, bear with me. I need a swig of Blizzard hops for that. All right, here we go. You know what, I have a better idea. I have a safer idea. <laughs> we'll put the duchy right there. Spoon it out of the duchy, how about that? Because <laughs> this is one heavy pot. All right, and holding it just to pour is very, very difficult. Okay, especially for me, for an old lady like myself. Okay, here we go. Get that beautiful filling that smells amazing. Put it right in our pan. Meanwhile, you you um, will have preheated your oven to 400, okay? And speaking of Charles Dickens before, I did watch the Alistair Sim Christmas Carol last night. I have the collector's um, edition on DVD, and it has, uh, on there it has two restored versions, the colorized version, and the original um version and it is my favorite of all the um, Christmas carols out there um, I've seen them all 
I like the Reginald Owens, uh, Owens one. That's the original. Um, that was the first one. But um, Alistair Sim is my very, very favorite. I like the George C. Scott one. That's a pretty good version. Um, the Patrick Stewart one, I liked it uh, when I first saw it. It was made for TV. And I was always a Patrick Stewart fan, you know. But uh, I didn't like him very much as Scrooge. I don't know. I just think nobody can do it like Alistair Sim. So. so we're going to fill our crust to capacity. I think the spinach um, is a beautiful addition to this pie. And uh, the uh, hash browns make the potatoes super easy for you. I suppose you could use the um, the little cubed potatoes that they also sell pre-cut, but um, I just like the hash browns are better because they're long and thin. They just really, really nice. So we're going to jam pack this crust. smells so good. Those spices uh, make a very different flavor and I love it. I love those kind of spices. Um, they use it a lot in the Middle East and Africa. Not, a lot in Africa. A lot of African cooking has those beautiful uh, savory spices. So I think um, we got it all. Pretty sure we got it all. We got some more onions in here. Let's get those too. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, let me take this away. And we will get ready to put our top crust on. Let's pull out our top crust a little bit more. Since my pie pan is so large, and then we'll lay it right over the top. Make your life wonderful. Spend the season with serious exam holiday traditions. If you roll your crust onto your rolling pin and then roll it onto your pie, works out really well. All right, now I'm going to cut the edges. I'm going to flute it, and then we'll come back and I'll show you what else I do to it. Okay, our pie is all fluted and pressed, edges are pressed together. Now you're going to want to make a couple of um, tiny slits. You're going to make some slits in it because you want steam to escape, okay? So put some little cuts in the pie and then what we're going to do we'll put this aside and we're going to roll out the, the um, roll out some of the dough that we cut off the edges of the pie just roll this out as much as you can and from this we're going to cut little Christmas trees. So this is this is one of the tiny uh, we call cookie cutters that Raymond gave me last year or two years ago. He gave me a bag of cute little tiny Christmas cutters. So what I'm going to use is um, Christmas trees. We have enough. So I went to Aldi today, and Aldi had almost nothing that I needed. <laughs> I, oh, I was so upset. I needed heavy cream because I have to do a key lime pie. I needed these double pie crusts 
uh, they didn't have them. They only had the other kind, and those don't work for these beautiful meat pies. Um, what else? I, I got almost nothing there. I got the hash browns, frozen hash browns there, and I got um, the spinach there, and I got the meat there. But as far as anything else went, um, they didn't have it. How could, I mean, heavy cream of all things. I mean, there was probably a mad rush on baking stuff this, uh, this weekend. You know, this is when everybody gets a lot of their pies and cookies done. Uh, heavy cream for the different pies. Um, but I, I was, I was like, I want to go to another food store, man. But I did. Alright, so we got our... We got our little Christmas trees. Bring our meat pie back. And what we're going to do is make an egg wash. Can you see me here? Make a little egg wash. So we're going to take an egg. And we're going to add a little bit of water. together a little bit and you're gonna brush the top of your beautiful meat pie with the egg wash oh, I love you great song right so brush it all with your egg wash very fun. It's a beautiful pie. It's a big hearty pie too. And leftovers of this pie are outrageous. Okay, so we have our pie, our glaze on there. Now we're gonna put our little, how we go, let's go this way. Put our little Christmas trees on because uh, the egg wash will make them stick. And put some more. You see where I'm going with it, right? <laughs> it looks pretty. It adds a little holiday touch to it. I think I need three more, maybe. Mm -hmm. oh, I think that's enough. Make sure they're stuck on there. Top, and then we'll egg wash those also. You put, cut out any shape for the top of your pie. Any cookie cutter shape you want. You can do stars, stockings, anything. But I really like wreaths would be cute. I like the Christmas trees. Oh, this Christmas tree don't belong. <laughs> he jumped on there. All right, so that is our beautiful Christmas meat pie. And we're going to put this in the 400 oven for, um, I forget, for 10 minutes. Then we're going to turn the heat down to 350 and bake it for 45 to 55 minutes longer. Um, if it starts to get too brown, 
You can cover it with foil uh, for the remainder of the baking. And in fact, since I'm making this today and we're heating it on Christmas Eve, I will wrap it uh, in foil and put it right in the oven in the foil. We won't want it to get any more brown at that point. It'll already be beautifully browned and it won't need any more browning. So for now, we're gonna put it in the 400 degree oven for 10 minutes. So here we go. Hi guys. Um, just having a lot of fun. This pie is smelling so good. And I have a piece of foil here ready in case it gets too brown. But so far, it's not getting too brown at all. It's, it's just perfect. And um, I put it in for 45 minutes. Well, I did the 10 minutes at 400. I have it now at 45 minutes at 350. I'll check it in 45 minutes to see if, um, uh, if it needs more time uh, another 10 minutes or whatever um, but other than that it is smelling amazing and I thought I would show you a couple of things I found in the thrift today because I stopped in there because I had a bunch of stuff to drop off so I dropped off clothes and stuff big box of things and um, um, a kitchen item that I didn't really use and uh, so I dropped that off. I wanted to get that over there. So I stopped in real quick and I found this magical, magical, magic wand. A truly magical, magic wand. Look at this. I love it so much. I'm going to bring this to every holiday gathering I go to uh, from now to New Year's because <laughs> I love this. So perfect for me. It has different. Uh, all right, here's off. Okay, now we do that. It has this one, which is this one could probably cause seizures this one which is kind of fun but it's more like a disco and then there's this beautiful thing which I love this is the setting that I like the best so I found that today and I also found this perfect now not to say I don't have more tripods than I need but I found the perfect tripod for cooking because this tripod is a heavy-duty tripod but it's very um, has a small footprint so I was thrilled with this and I'm using it tonight and here's a picture of it right here okay let's turn off our magic wand I thought um, while we were waiting for the pie to finish I would show you my vintage um, figgy pudding, uh, Christmas pudding mold. This is so fun. Of course, back in Bob Cratchit's day, when they were listening to the pudding um, singing in the kettle, it would have been um, a ball. The pudding would have been a ball tied into a cheesecloth. And the whole cheesecloth would be put in the boiling water. Um, around the turn of the century, they started with this kind of thing. Turn of the century, maybe 10s, 20s. Uh, they started with this kind of mold. This is a beautiful old mold. Look at this. So it has the locking lid. It has the little thing to lift it out of the um, of the boiling uh, water. And um, it then has the pretty design. You would put your, um, what do you call it? Uh, oh, God, what am I saying? The, um, the brandy saw, the brandy cream in the middle and then you would pour brandy around here and you would light it a flame and just a beautiful beautiful thing I always want to say rum sauce but as my mother always reminds me it is a brandy sauce so very 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 cool isn't that neat so so while I was waiting for the pie to finish I thought I would show you that it's a fun Christmassy thing um, I have to get into making some of that one year Time, 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 time. It's a time factor. <laughs> you need a lot of time to make a figgy pudding. So, anyway, I'll be back with you when the pie is done. So, here is our finished Christmas Eve meat pie, Anglo Saxon slash Celtic meat pie. Beautiful, beautiful pie. And, um, 
10 minutes at 400 and 45 minutes at 350 was just right so the pie is perfect it is done I'll let it cool a little bit and then I will put the uh, uh, cover it with foil and have it ready to go for Christmas Eve so I hope you enjoyed that guys now who wants to come over and do the dishes <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I did them all already. While the pie was baking, I did the dishes. So I am all done. So tomorrow I have to make the key lime pie. But that's not a complex thing. That's just a, it's just a mixed thing. But it's my dad's favorite pie. So I figured I would make um, a little Betty Crocker, um, um, what do you call it, key lime pie so for Christmas Eve and then like I said Christmas Day we'll go by my brother's house and uh, it'll be fun just wish I didn't have to work I wish it was off from now till you know Wednesday but even going to work the day after Christmas that's really tough you know really really tough but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that I hope you'll try it it's a beautiful dish and um, really magical smelling pie so anyway guys I will talk to you later oh you know what I'm gonna pick you up and I'm going to bring you into the living room and show you the moon in my room it is pure magic I absolutely love it so we'll do that in just a second here is the moon in my room and we'll do the um, automatic so you can see all the phases it's really really fun look at this to full beautiful I think it's a full moon tonight right I think it's a full moon tonight then we got the little bit of the waning moon look at that isn't that beautiful oh my god it's like having the moon inside it's just so magical I love it so much isn't that beautiful the crescents are so pretty now it's the new moon of course Pure magic. So I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. I love you all. Comment, subscribe, make the recipe, share the love. I love you all. I'll be back with you tomorrow night to wish you my um, my Christmas greeting for 2018 because Monday and Tuesday I won't be around. So I hope you're having a beautiful evening. I love you all. Talk to you very soon.